We're being asked to prove that these functions are linearly independent. Before we do the proof, recall what we mean by the Ronskian of two functions. The Ronskian of f and g is the determinant, and then here you write down f, and then here you write down the derivative of f, and then here you write down g, and then here you have g prime. And it turns out if the Ronskian of f of x g of x is not equal to 0 for all x and r. So if this happens, then f and g are linearly independent on r. So if you can show that the Ronskian is not equal to 0 for all x, then the functions themselves are independent. What if the Ronskian is zero? Well, it turns out that there's functions that are actually independent and have a zero Ronskian. So you really only want to use this to prove independence, right? You don't, you don't want to use this to show dependence. Okay, let's go ahead and do the proof. So proof. So in this problem, we're going to set f of x equal to e to the 3x and g of x equal to e to the 5x. Then we'll just take the derivatives. So then, f prime of x, well the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, so this is e to the 3x, times the derivative of the inside. So the inside function is this one, and the derivative of 3x is simply 3. So f prime of x is equal to 3e to the 3x. Likewise, g prime of x is equal to e to the 5x times 5, so just 5 e to the 5x. Now we're ready to compute the Ronskian and show that it is not 0. So then, the Ronskian of f of x, g of x, is equal to the determinant of f, so e to the 3x, and then f prime right below it, so 3e to the 3x. And then here we have e to the 5x, that's g, and then g prime right below it, so 5e to the 5x. And then we just take the determinants. So we multiply these guys, so we're going to get 5. And when you multiply e to the 3x times e to the 5x, you add the exponents, so we get e to the 8x. Then we subtract, and then again we multiply. So we have 3. And then again we add the 5x and the 3x, so we get e to the 8x. So 5 minus 3 is 2, so we get 2e to the 8x. And this is not equal to 0 for all x and r. Therefore, the set containing e to the 3x and e to the 5x is linearly independent. That's it.